underway, week 10 of the NFL on CBS. It's a touchback for Myers. Running back healthy for Buffalo, LaShawn McCoy and Marcus Murphy on first down. Barkley, deep shot, there it is, looking for Foster, and he's got it! Robert Foster with a big play! The first play of the game for the Bills goes for 48 yards. Play clock, they just get it off, and a handoff to McCoy with some room. McCoy inside the 10, 5, and he is in! Touchdown! Two plays, six points for Buffalo. You're going to get your runner who's going to run right in between that. See, I just missed it by a little bit. But it's so easy when they are committing to the line of scrimmage. They're trying to get after you in a run blitz. You find that gap. And the kick is good. The Bills have their first lead since week six against Houston from Stephen Hauschka. Short kick. Roberts from the nine. And hit hard at the 25-yard line. That was Ryan Lewis making the play on special teams. Red 80! Count, quick pass to Quincy Anunwa. Anunwa. And Anunwa tackled at the 30-yard line. And the Jets do. Anunwa, who's been battling an ankle injury, hobbles off. On second down, it's Eli McGuire. And not much doing there against this tough Buffalo defense. Jets third worst on third downs this year. McCown's pass deflected and incomplete. It was deflected by Jerry Hughes. And the Jets go three and out on their first offensive possession. He is back deep to receive the punt from Lachlan Edwards. This is Bright Sun that he's trying to catch the ball in. McKenzie has got great speed from his own 21. McKenzie tripped up at the 28-yard line. It's the Jaguars. So Matt Barkley going back to the air on first down. Looking deep again over the middle and complete. Off the hands of Zay Jones. The biggest run of the year. Here's McCoy trying to kick it to the outside. McCoy with a flag down is shoved out of bounds by Darren Lee. Our referee today is Ron Torbert. Holding. Offense, number 10, 10 yard penalty, replay second down. It's on the former Jet, Terrell Pryor. Blow. And it is Murphy trying the left side, Leonard Williams the first to greet him. Barkley has time over the middle and it's broken up. That was Marcus May closing quickly to get a hand on it. And out comes the punter, Colton Schmidt. He's in for Colton Schmidt. And Roberts, the deep man for the Jets. Roberts from the 30. And Roberts still going inside the 40. And finally taken down at the 43-yard line. 18 straight games without an opening drive. Touchdown for the Jets. Only Miami has a longer active streak. Second drive starts with McCown scrambling and hit hard from behind by Shaq Lawson. Had five rushing touchdowns last year, a career high with the Jets. Crowell not much doing on second down. And it brings up third and short for New York. Well, did not get any on that last carry. McCown out of the shotgun looking. Right pressure coming, and McCown is set. Matt Milano made the initial hit. His teammates finish off McCown. He's been in the league a little bit longer than 16 years of defensive coordinator. They're going to give that sack to Jordan Boyer, his first of the season. Here's Micah Hyde on the return for Buffalo. Hyde. Tackled at the 27-yard line. Bringing out on both of their possessions. First down and 10 for Buffalo. LaShawn McCoy on the carry. And McCoy tackled at the 30 by Avery Williamson after a gain of four. They break the huddle. They are very aware of his presence around the line of scrimmage. This is McKenzie. He's got great speed. And McKenzie has a Buffalo first down. Entire playbook. He had to learn the game plan on how to attack the Jets. Adams hits Barkley hard. And the pass is incomplete. And a flag comes in late on the coverage. Morris Claiborne. There was no foul on the play for defensive pass interference. It's an incomplete pass, second down. 8.09 to go in the opening quarter. McCoy 
Up the middle, across the 45, and tackled at the 47. NFL Today update back to New York with JB and Bill Cower. Bills. Barkley, touch pass for Pryor, incomplete. Buster Screen had the coverage for the Jets, and it's fourth down. Okay. Did a good job last week against Danny Amendola. It's a fake. Logan Thomas, a former quarterback, completes it to Foster for the first down. Logan Thomas drafted as a quarterback out of Virginia Tech, transitioned to tight end, and he uses those skills to convert a fake punt for Buffalo. Quarterback, I thought we couldn't have any more than we already do. We got Logan Thomas now throwing passes as McCoy gets back to the line of scrimmage. Barkley gets rid of it, completes it to McCoy, gets away from Jenkins, and then McCoy hit down by Lee. Back to New York, another NFL Today update with JB and Bill Cowher. Barkley to Jones, and see Jones has a first down. He's in line to get the backup job in Cincinnati before the knee injury. As McCoy has some room on the outside, cuts it in at the 20, and LaShawn McCoy looks rejuvenated here today. Second down and two. There's Marcus Murphy, and he's got the first down. Barkley looking towards the end zone for Benjamin, goes up and it's incomplete. Benjamin could not hold on as he went to the ground. It's Murphy running left. And Murphy met by Henry Anderson in his first year with the Jets. You know what he's supposed to do, he asked the quarterback. If they ask you, do you know what they're supposed to do? He said, sure I know. Third and seven, St. Jones dives, lost the football. The Jets, and then we have no signal yet. Buffalo thinks it's a touchdown as Jason Kroom recovered it, and it is! Crazy play, Jones the catch, dives, lost the football, but Kroom is there to pick it up. That fumble is negated, and it's dead right at that spot. As James said, all scoring plays subject to review, so this will be need, needed to be confirmed in a replay. And you could see from our last replay there that he is above the ground when that ball comes out. The elbow's not down, the forearm isn't down. The extra point. What a start for the Buffalo Bills. Under fire. The team has lost three in a row, and now they fall behind 14-0 at home against the Bills. Let's go back to that touchdown. A teammate in the end zone. That's why the ruling stayed as a touchdown. All right, great point. Thank you very much, Gene Steratores. Eddie Yarbrough on a big tackle for the Bills. And more boos. Loss of one on the play. Second and 11. McCown to the air. And his pass is deflected up in the air and incomplete. Jordan Phillips got a hand on that one. It's third and 11. McCown gets rid of it incomplete. Third drive, third three and out for the Jets. Here's Edwards with his third punt. McKenzie the deep man. Good kick by Lachlan Edwards. McKenzie all the way back to his own 16. Hesitates. Now on the return out of bounds shy of the 30 yard line. Kickers. 117 to go. And Barkley to the air on first down. Another deep shot. He's got St. Jones who reels it in at midfield. Thrown down by Buster Screen, but the Bills continue to take shots down the field. This one for 33 yards. McCoy. And McCoy tackled at the line of scrimmage. And Jay Feely, our producer Jason Ross, director Andy Goldberg, I'm Andrew Catalan. Barkley had plenty of time and nearly picked off. Morris Claiborne had it but could not hold on. Big one there, instead it's third and ten. Barkley, and that pass is caught, but short of the sticks. Zay Jones brings it in, it's fourth and a yard. What does Sean McDermott do? Boy, the running back. Movement, McCoy moved early, they pitch it to him. McCoy has the first, but now the flags come in. Yeah, that's, that's this should have illegal been a false shift. Start. Yep. yep. Illegal shift by the offense. Two men moving, did not come set before the snap. Five-yard penalty, replay fourth down. 
field goals from beyond 50 yards. This kick on the way. A little bit of wind here today, and that one is good. Hauschka drills it, a season-long 54-yarder. Here's Roberts, and it's a touchback. Fewest yards, first quarter at home since 1991. McCown over the middle, and Jermaine Curse, no, incomplete. It bounced before it got there. Dude, it's tough. McCown to Curse, he's got this one, and hit hard at the 31-yard line. Third and two. Play fake. Good protection, now McCown nowhere to go, throws it incomplete. Another three and out by the Jets. Four possessions, four three and outs. And Great. more booze. McKenzie from his 15. McKenzie with some nice moves and out of bounds across the 35 yard line. He's provided a nice spark today for the Bills. Barkley, six of 12 for 112 yards passing. Handing off to Murphy on first down, and Murphy to the 40. It's been a number of big plays. Out there in the middle of the field, and they can shut your offense down. Keeping it on the ground. Always oh, talking about there he is. Got to know where he is. Robert Foster back in the game for the Bills, and the pass is caught by Zay Jones for a Buffalo first down. McCoy trying the right side into Jets territory and eight more yards for LaShawn McCoy. Jets will see the Patriots after their bye next week. McCoy. And McCoy continues his hard running. Darren Lee makes the tackle, but not before Shady picks up five yards. You know, we always talk about the skill players up in yards on the ground in the first half. Trying to add to their total. It's Murphy finding a hole. Buffalo just keeps running on the Jets as we check in with Jay Feely. Defense is getting pounded. Murphy. Murphy has a first down. And this is such a critical game for Todd Bowles. But I would be disappointed if there was a coaching change. Leonard Williams going to bat for his head coach as Barkley hits Andre Holmes, who's still going inside the 10 and tackled at the 8-yard line. Gain of 22, first and goal for Buffalo. He's getting a chance today. First and goal, play fake, Barkley, time, and he finds Deion Dawkins! The left tackle with the touchdown! <laughs> Dawkins from nearby Rollway, New Jersey, in his second year at a Temple, the Bills pulling out all the stops today. The end of the line, he blocks, he sheds the block. I'm surprised he didn't throw his hand up and indicate to Barkley that he was wide open, but he got those big mitts ready to catch the football. Yeah, since Christmas Eve 2016, when he was with the Chicago Bears, and the extra point is good. I CBS Sports on Pancho Villa last week. And Whatever he said, James, certainly oh, yeah. seems to be working right now for Buffalo. Roberts on the return. Roberts down the sideline and out of bounds at the 29. What a game in relation to Bowles' future. Well, this is the type of game that gets coaches fired. Jets are down 24 0, and we take a look at their struggles today. It has not been pretty. It's second and 17 for the Jets. McCown with a screen to Crowell. And Crowell, good, you run after the catch by Crowell. He's got a Jets first down, a gain of 18. And first down today by the Jets. McCown checks it down to Crowell again, hit hard. That is Taron Johnson, who continues to impress in his rookie season. Here's Trenton Cannon. A little creativity by the Jets and offensive coordinator Jeremy Bates. CBS employee. Back to Andrew James and Jay. Ah, that's great stuff. Got to get a Tyreek Hill, a CBS Blazer. Jermaine Andrews, the 
middle linebacker. You expect him to be able to influence his play. Eli McGuire has the first down and more. McGuire still on his feet inside the 40. And a gain of 13 for Eli McGuire. Jerry Hughes is back out there for the Bills, left earlier with an injury. McGuire again trying the right side, and McGuire with some good run. He's staying in bounds. A flag is down, and then Levi Wallace. There were multiple fouls during the play, all by the offense. Holding, number 10, is declined. Holding, number 68, is also declined. Holding, number 86, is accepted. 10-yard penalty, replay first down. He's out for the Jets with an ankle injury. Pressure coming, McCown has to get rid of it, and it's up for grabs and picked off! Matt Milano on the return for Buffalo! And Milano still going! Finally brought down at the 45-yard line. Second interception of the season for Milano. You've got to be able to, to contain that. You've got to give the quarterback a clean pocket and a chance to throw. Matt Milano came into the game with three fumble recoveries, one interception, Needless to say, he's got pretty good ball skills for being an outside backer. They're reviewing this play, looked like his foot was a little close to the to the um, being out of bounds on about his fourth step. Right about there, he's high steps. He stays in bounds. So, here in the coverage department, now playing linebacker in the NFL, and on first down, the Bills with LaShawn McCoy moving the ball into Jets territory, a five-yard pickup. 125 pounds, 30 times. McCoy spins away and has daylight. McCoy out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Season high rushing in the first half today with 88 yards. Murphy giving McCoy a breather and gets a yard. McCoy's previous season high, Murphy in it running back. Barkley hands it to Murphy. Murphy has some room. Murphy still going. Murphy inside the 10 and out of bounds at the 7. First and goal for the Bills. McCoy up the middle. McCoy dives and he's in. Touchdown Buffalo. Second of the day for McCoy. Rolling on the field of a touchdown will be reviewed. Up, he's the low man making the tackle here. See, watch the forearm come down with the ball in his hand, just short of the end line. The runner's right elbow was down with the ball short of the goal line. It'll be Buffalo's ball, second and goal from the half yard line. We set the game clock to one minute 50 seconds by rule with a replay reversal in the last two minutes. We will run 10 seconds. The game clock should be now set to 1 minute 40 seconds. It'll start on my ready for play signal. Designated pass target. Barkley himself gets a push from Tamarco. No signal yet, and he is short. Pocket three. McCoy hit hard, second effort, and he's in. Touchdown, LaShawn McCoy, his second of the day. He fires the ball against the back of the end zone. Because he's so shifty, he's so nimble. We forget that you still got to be powerful to run the ball, especially down near the goal line. Extra point from Hauschka is good. 31 to nothing. Here's Roberts on the return. Roberts. Finds a seam up the middle and still going across the 35-yard line. Families, join the salute by visiting NFL.com slash salute. McCown throwing on first down, caught by Teron Peak. And he's got a Jets first down. Gear man out of Clemson. Pressure coming from Shaq Lawson. Now McCown in trouble and he's taken down. And it was Jerry Hughes. Hitting McCown, he's now got five and a half sacks on the year as the Jets call timeout. I don't, I don't see where it could hurt and not going to send the team in the opposite direction. McCown fires. That's caught by Chris Herndon, the impressive tight end. Hit hard at midfield. And another timeout no. called by the Jets. Hey. 15 seconds to go. 
McCown delivers, nearly intercepted off the hands of Levi Wallace, who's making his first start today, undrafted out of Alabama. Fourth and seven. McCown to McGuire. He's got the first down. And McGuire with the clock at two, and the Jets are able to get that timeout in with two seconds to go. Their final timeout. Kick by Myers online, and it is good. Roberts on the return from his three-yard line. Roberts hit hard by Raphael Bush. As we check in with Jay Feely. The practice squad just to stretch the field, and they did it on the first play of the game. McCown now trying to stretch the field to Cannon. Incomplete. Coverage on the play by Raphael Bush. For almost 300 yards in that ball game. Anunwa on the catch. And hit hard by Milano at the 35-yard line. Third and three. Quick pass to McGuire. And Tredavious White hit him as he made the catch. But with that spot, it looks like it's going to be good for a Jets first down. Time today, the Jets have converted on third down. McCown pass was too high and nearly caught by Nunwa, even though he was not the intended receiver. Down in 10. Up the middle with McGuire and the Bills hold him to no games. Team has held the Jets to just 79 yards. That pass batted down by Kyle Williams. At the age of 35, still an impact player. Got the chance to play Augusta National earlier this year. Shot a 78 at Augusta. That's how good Kyle Williams is. And here off the hop, McKenzie is spun down at the 15. Barkley in the Buffalo offense out of the field for the first time this half. Quick pass to McKenzie. He's got great speed and some room. McKenzie with a Bills first down. Guys on the football field. 5'8, 173 pounds under Georgia. LaShawn McCoy and Nathan Shepard, the rookie for the Jets, one of the first to get there. Mike Pinnell in on the tackle as well. They'd like to keep Derek Anderson and his wisdom in that quarterback room. So it certainly appears that Peterman will be the odd man out. Off to a flying start. Haven't slowed down since then. Third down and nine. They hand it off to McCoy. That'll get him over 100 yards, but it will not get him a first down. Tackled short of the sticks by Jamal Adams. There's Schmidt just getting it away. He was hit to the ground. May have been deflected. A fair catch by Roberts. Anthony Robles set a Guinness Book of World Records for most pull-ups in one minute. The record was 61. That would get a coach fired. He's already been on the hot seat. You come in with a team playing its fourth quarterback. The favored, you got everything in your corner as Herndon has a big pickup for the Jets. And they put this one out there at 31 to 3. We told you guys interviewing, walking through Al Davis's office, trying to figure out who was going to be next. How about Cannon as the Jets pulling out some tricks here on offense? A 14 yard pickup for Trenton Cannon. The effort level. McCown in trouble, and he is sacked. Shaq Lawson continues to have his best year as a Buffalo Bill. Fence, a loss of five. It's second and 15. Crowell. Crowell with some room inside the 20. Hit hard by Jerry Hughes. But a first down run for Isaiah Crowell, a pickup of 18. You get something happen with your defense, if you can get in the end zone here, you can close it. Curse. Tackled at the five-yard line. Crowell, some room on that left side. He's got an angle, and he's got a touchdown. First touchdown today for the Jets. The sixth of the year for Isaiah Crowell. Play that's that wide open. Watching Nooner right there coming in. He gets a great block on the outside defender. He seals the edge, and then it's just a little bit of a foot race to the pylon. Here's Myers for the extra point. A seven play, 73-yard drive. It only took three minutes and 38 seconds. Their hands team on the field. But Myers kicks it away. 
And McKenzie from his own two. McKenzie cut back at the 30. And tackled at the 35-yard line. Nice game today for Isaiah McKenzie, a return of 34 yards. And McCoy. McCoy gets two. Peterman struggles, and now Barkley brought in 12 days ago, and he's starting today. And completing one to Zay Jones for a Buffalo first down. In their pass protection. Barkley to Logan Thomas, and Thomas with a flag down, tackled by Darren Lee. Illegal block on the back. Offense, number 79. 10-yard penalty. We play first down. The, the entire year until last week. And that pass deflected and incomplete. Jamal Adams got a hand on it for the Jets. Plant some little trees that help us for the future. I am happy to do that here now in my 13th year. As McCoy is shoved out of bounds by Adams. The double zeros on the clock. Third down and 20. Barkley deep looking for Foster again. Foster the adjustment and the grab. Right in front of Morris Claiborne. 105 yards. 180. And that is noteworthy because just notice that. Like I said, young players getting a chance to play late in the season. McCoy. He's got the Bills knocking on the door once again. Third and four. Barkley. Jones. Jones with a spin and a first down. Point. And this talent is catching up to the potential. Barkley fakes the pitch. Rolling right. Barkley surveying the scene. Fires incomplete. He, but he still gets a chance to second down. Second and goal. Hand off McCoy. McCoy taken down by Williamson. Benjamin with his size at the bottom of your screen. Let's see if Barkley throws it his way. Looking that way. Good coverage down to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Zay Jones. What a day for Jones. His second touchdown of the season. Oh, by Barkley, he gets that ball out, and he just, it's in the seam, in between defenders. And he's probably looking and going, okay, I kind of remember what everybody's doing on this route. Maybe I don't, but as soon as he saw Zay Jones open, he was able to give him that ball in a hurry. Extra point by Hauschka is good. This is his 400th consecutive Bills game. That includes home, away. Playoffs, every game, 400 straight here today against the Jets. That is uh, some streak. First down and 10. McCown to Herndon. Edmonds right there. McCown in the shotgun on second down and nine. And that pass deflected by Shaq Lawson. It's happened a number of times to McCown today. As it sets up third down and nine. McCown threw it behind Jermaine Curse. Incomplete fourth down. Get it done under pressure. Punt number six for Edwards. Short, wobbly punt. Out of bounds near the 40-yard line. Not a good one from Lachlan Edwards. I know some people. It was a 30-yard punt by Edwards. Now Murphy. Bill's doing this today on the ground with only two running backs, Marcus Murphy and LaShawn McCoy, Chris Ivory. It's Kelly Skipper. I can run all those plays that have that. Murphy again. DeMarco in his career, now in his seventh season, has carried the ball a total of three times. <laughs> in field to pick up the first down. Barkley in trouble, and he is sacked. Jamal Adams and Jordan Jenkins getting back there to combine on the sack, a loss of eight. Jenkins now has five sacks on the season and one and a half for Jamal Adams. Roberts fair catch at his own 18-yard line. He wanted him to mentor Sam Darnold. As he hands it off to McGuire here. And as McCown told us, he did not want to play this year. He's 
in California. So they spent a lot of time together. McCown said, I, you know, I didn't want to play. But when we pressed him, he said, yeah, there's, I certainly was. You move away from it years from now, bits and parts of it, you'll you know, look at it and say, well, I'm so glad I got to do what I got to do for so long. Yeah, and as he told us. So complicated, it's hard to figure out. Anunua on the reception, sneaks by Ryan Lewis. And Anunua has enough for a Jets first down. Deion Lacy on the tackle. And Milano into the 10. McCown to McGuire at midfield, gets away from Edmonds. And a first down for Eli McGuire, who in his second game of the season. And the acceleration, the ability to split tackles afterwards. Pressure coming, Lawson hits McCown. A down after down player, as opposed to just a situational pound pressure. Hughes jumped off sides. Offside, defense, number 55, five-yard penalty, second down. A Nudla again on a quick pass, and maybe gets a yard. You guys a chance to throw it down the field. It's third down, McCown intercepted! It's Micah Hyde with his first interception of the season. Second pick today by Josh McCown. This one into the hands of Micah Hyde. Is that a missed field goal face by no, Jay Philly? That, no. That was a chip shot field goal face right there. What was that, Jay? <laughs> and McCoy again. Well, if you missed it earlier on CBS Sports Network, that other pregame show, the nine for the Bills with 8.57 to go in the fourth quarter. Barkley with time, oh. deep over the middle, incomplete. Over the head of Terrell Pryor, running quarterback. The Jets coming after it, they nearly get it. That was Neville Hewitt that came in and almost got a hand on the punt by Schmidt, which goes into the end zone. When you're working out in Southern California, you've got on shorts and a t-shirt. McGuire reversing field and Lawson wraps him up. And not only that for Barkley, but 17 unanswered points scored. They lead 34 to 10 over New England. Back to Andrew Catalan. Two for 13. McCown to a noon one. Out of bounds, incomplete. Seventh punt today for Edwards with McKenzie, the deep man. Another one off the side of Edwards' foot, and it bounces back and takes a Buffalo hop. What he wanted, he's been on fire since then. Pitches it to McCoy following the block of Deion Dawkins. And four for McCoy as we go down to Jay Feely. As Barkley told us, it was instrumental to have a guy on the offensive side of the staff that he felt so comfortable with this week. He said he was, quote, instrumental in helping him pull up. On the handoff, how about this for McKenzie continuing to provide a spark. Another first down for Isaiah McKenzie, a pickup of 15. He has three touches for 41 yards, not including what he's done, obviously, in the return game. He's got another touch here. And tackled at the 22-yard line. It's a pitch to Murphy. Murphy inside the 20. I think one of the interesting things for the Jets after this game, obviously. Well, Jay Feely played for the Jets and the Giants. He knows about playing in New York. And Jay, you know that the headlines. And because he's playing quarterback, he really didn't have that role today. And it was a struggle all day. And we met with them on Friday at their facility in Florham Park. They all talked about big division game with him and the GM, Mike McCagnan. They'll have a lot to talk about after this one. Barkley to the end zone, and it's broken up by Morris Claiborne. Coach, and what's going to happen? Do you want to make an in-season change? Is that something that you do as a normal course of business, or do you... Eric Tomlinson on the return. Teams aren't alerted that you're bringing in a former quarterback and something that Danny Crossman have been working on and executed perfectly. And I think 
Second down and seven. And Cannon to the 40. And that should take us to the two minute warning. Big contract extension. There you he's playing. Third and two. Cannon going the wrong way. And he doesn't get the first down. Probably for your running back. McCown over the middle, juggled and drops. Cannon had it, lost it, and a turnover on downs, and that'll do it. And the Bills can just run this one out. George the Biscuit with Sharp, the broadcast associates, Jelani Rooks, and Michael Milstein making his NFL debut. Our spotter who got way too much attention today is John McCarthy. The Bills stop a four-game losing streak in a big way. A 41-10 victory over the Jets. New York has now lost.